off we go again to Telemark and beyond. Uh, no, not beyond. Going to do that. Uh, this is heavy and I'm already a little bit late for the train. Let's see how this goes. Shit. <laughs> In a long day, I have a lot to process. I am in Telemark now, on my second location, in Svartal, at a farm called Sveveli, Sveveli, and uh, we're living in what used to be the barn, but it's fully renovated, so it's really nice here. And we already went out and did our first plot. And the species are so different here. We found stuff that I didn't even see once in Song of Yurana. That's cool. I'm gonna learn a lot this summer. That's amazing. Um, we don't look at the moss, like the species of the moss. Well, in her master's, master's degree, well, master's. In her project she doesn't do that so um, I'm being robbed of learning more about moss but it's it's looking for moss is really time-consuming so maybe it's for the best but I don't know what they're called they're like tiny insects not, not mosquitoes, uh, but the super small kind that mosquitoes like suck your blood, but these like take a take a little bite of your flesh, um, and it's really itchy, and they were everywhere, and I had my mosquito hat on, but they just keep finding way in. So I might go crazy, but <laughs> it was, I was really annoyed by it today. So my plan for tomorrow is to just take a deep breath and come to the conclusion that, are they called gnats? Gnats. Gnats. I'm gonna come to the conclusion that it's not the end of the world, and yeah. I'm tired, but in a good way. Good night. And good morning, world. This used to be the main house of the farm, and that's where they store wood now. But I think that's also a sauna. Ooh, luxury. <laughs> and this is where we live. In the old barn. And that is where the toilet is. And this is me. First night here. And it was a really pleasant sleep. I needed that sleep way more than I thought I would. Uh, but looks like it's gonna be a gorgeous day and I say gorgeous because there's not enough nuts nuts to make me crazy but here is the toilet very exciting oh you step in here and you step up on your throne oh yes and I'm a lucky son of a bitch. This part of the experience, I'm not gonna include you. Look, it's a nest. Sort of inside a window. I don't know what bird it is though. What kind of birds make bees nests? I'm not sure. There's a lot of bird droppings in there though. Can you see the black little spots? 
Yeah. I don't think there's seeds. Moss or plant? Ha! I figured it out. Rhodobirium ontariense. This one. It says it likes places with high pH values. And oh, let me see if I can open this. And that's its sister. Beautiful. Beautiful. Goodness gracious, that was. Uh, when we got back out from lunch, it had just stopped raining. And you know what that means? That means mosquitoes and gnats all over. Hmm. <laughs> and I have a mosquito hat with me and I put it on and it sort of worked, but they somehow kept getting in there. I don't think I don't think it's tight enough. <sighs> So I I'm just so frustrated. We actually went out again after coming in because it started raining like pouring down. So there were no insects in the air. Um, but we didn't even make it through one plot before the rain stopped and the gnats were all over the place. <laughs> it's beautiful here. And the plants are incredibly beautiful. And the moss, oh my goodness, the moss. It's awesome. But the insects, I'll pass. <laughs> but the landscape looks like something out of fairy tales or nightmares. But mostly fairy tales. I wish it rained more so we could go outside again. Mmm, that sound though. I wish it rained more so we could go outside again. Go outside and play. But it's nine o'clock in the evening so I guess I'll go to bed soon so yeah no cutting board no problem just get a piece of wood <laughs> look at that now we can finally see we're on a mountain farm. <laughs> and, oh, and by the way, this is what it looks like inside. <laughs> With a little cheeky little kitchen and there's no trash here, so that's our compost. Yes. <laughs> Here we have an awesome map of the area because it's like in 3D. It's awesome! <laughs> Today we have been blessed with the presence of wind. So there's also almost no bugs, which is amazing. And if you're wondering what I'm carrying, it's Marat. You see, here, she uses just huge steel frames. That's one, one times one meters. Uh, meters. Uh, to measure up her route since it's already been measured and laid out properly So we can just carry them along and we don't have to use the sticks and And risk them being taken away by wind or animals or oh. And we don't have to measure it up ourselves, which is a luxury Now I've been walking around around with this as a map. It's just a an airplane photograph and there's tiny little numbers and I found the one we're gonna do after lunch. Uh, I don't think you'll be seeing much of uh, my new boss because she's a bit camera shy, you know. Or just uncomfortable with this. Which is okay, which is totally fine. Um, but her master's uh, 
assignment is uh, the one of uh, there was a similar job done here 25 years ago so in 1992 uh, and they were it wasn't exactly what we have been doing but we are using the same plots um, and they were specifically looking for a plot so they were specifically looking for an orchid which I will show you later um, so they just oh, no insects <laughs> um, so they were looking for that one um, but it was a PhD that never got published so that means uh, we do have all of the information of the species they found uh, 25 years ago but we do not have any of the history of this farm uh, which I mean it could have been better because if we knew where they kept their sheep, if we knew where they grew their potatoes, I mean, we would have a lot more information and be able to I need to get more fit, but the view is fantastic. Um, but if we knew a bit more about what it used to look like, we could say more about uh, how far it's come in this in the journey back to being just an untouched an untouched forest. But we'll see. I mean, some things we have been able to scramble together, so there's hope because her assignment is, after all, to figure out how much the nature here has changed in 25 years. And that is awesome! Look how many orchids! Aren't they gorgeous? Beautiful! Okay, I have to move so you can see it. Mm, mm, mm. You can see it, I think. Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you not? Can you? I don't know, but... Beautiful, beautiful. Testing if it's possible to make jam out of uh, Rumex Acetosa, known as Cedar Block, to my Norwegian fellows. Have no idea. Maybe it's tasty, maybe it's shit. So that is what it looks like. And I think that's good, but uh, I got this book from my sister. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you. Uh, and it says that you shouldn't eat this just alone because of all the acid. You should consume it with milk. So I think we're gonna let it cool down and eat it with um, cream. I don't know. Can I flirt the bangers? There's a cream though. Yeah. So, we read in a magazine for uh, Norwegian botany articles, like update articles, uh, that there's supposed to be a hybrid between two orchids in these forests. And, and I'm searching for it, but I cannot find it! Uh, and it, the article was from this very farm, which is awesome, and it was quite new as well. I want to find it so bad! Are you a hybrid? No. And you can tell. Yeah, 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 no, you can't see it no matter what. Mm, fucking what. And it's, you can see if it's a hybrid, if it's yellow inside the flower, but these are not. So, are you a hybrid? Um, no. Okay. Because. Hybrid uh, or the other orchid that is oh okay okay damn uh, the other orchid that it cho chose uh, <laughs> blah, um, that it created the hybrid with is a yellow orchid that's really rare rare 
here in Norway. Because it's to the um, it only only lives in the fields where uh, they strike the grass down to feed it to the animales. Um, so in this area, they are actually being paid to do that, although they don't have animals, just to keep the orchid alive and well and away from extinction, which is working, luckily. And there's a botanist that comes here once a year to look at how big the population is, just to monitor it. Uh, and we were like, oh cool, when will she come here? And they were like, ha, yesterday. Fantastic. I can't find it. I'm supposed to be working, so I may have to give up, but, mm, you know. This is our compost now, and that's the Rumex Jello. I hate throwing away food, but that's not food. <laughs> um, I can't recommend it. Mm, not at all. Mm. Just don't do it. It tastes just weird and sour and not the good kind of sour either and um, The texture is all wrong and it smells like sauerkraut and ooh, no, just don't do it mm. Absolute piece of shit oh. <laughs> It's another beautiful day! I mean, look at this. This is a flower field and this is where we get to work. It's really, really nice. Today I'm leaving for Oslo. Uh, I'm just gonna stay there a couple of days and clean myself out of where I live. Or used to live. I don't know. <laughs> My phone doesn't work, and I'm waiting for some potentially heartbreaking news. So I'm very distracted today. I really am. Um, but luckily she's really understanding. So. And the reason I'm going into Oslo is because she's going on a trip with her husband. They're newlywed, so how can I say no to that? Clean up before I got on the train. We swam in a river and washed up, and it was. Mm, why can't I go back? This is a really good sign, though. I love it. I'm home and I'm clean, and I'm gonna do a lot of laundry because it's needed. And it's raining, so I might go for a walk in the forest, and it's a beautiful day. And I'm loving life. Okay, it would be better if I was in the forest in Telemark at the mountain farm, but you know, you can't have everything. So, I'ma quit this one here, and then you can wait and see what I do here in Oslo. It's not gonna be much. And then I'm going back to Telemark again, I'm looking forward to that. And then I'm going back to Oslo, and then I am moving to Svalbard. Oh! Mm. Yes! See ya! <laughs>